In this Excel file, we've created an order form, and instead of having people type the products they want to order, we're going to create drop-down lists that they can select from. That will help prevent typing errors, and people won't be able to order things that aren't available. Our list of products is on another sheet called Lists, and if we go to that sheet, we can see the list typed here in column B. And we're going to give this range of cells a name. So I'm going to start by selecting all those cells and then clicking in the name box, which is just at the left side of the formula bar. I'll type a name. It has to be all one word. So I'm going to type product list. So that's all one word. And to complete that, I'll press the enter key on the keyboard. So there's the name. You can see it in the name box when these cells are selected. If we click away from it, it disappears. And we can use the drop-down list to select that name and go to those cells. Now going back to the order entry sheet, we're going to select the cells where we want a drop-down list that shows those product names. So with these cells selected, on the ribbon, I'll go to the Data tab and click Data Validation. And in the dialog box, on the Settings tab, I want to allow a list. So not any value, I want specific values from a list. So I'll click List, and then we have to put in the source of our list. So I could start with an equal sign and, equal sign and type the name of that list, but a quicker way is on your keyboard, press the F3 key. That opens up the Paste Name window, and there's our name. So we'll click that, click OK, and it puts that in as the source. Click OK, and now each cell, when you click on it, has a drop-down arrow at the right. So you can click on a cell, click the drop-down arrow, and select a product.